What's up everyone, my name is Samsoed and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create an edge wipe blur transition. This was inspired by Ace Dude Yeah over on Reddit who asked how would I make a vertical blur transition, like making a vertical edge wipe combined with a blur dissolve transition, trying to make my titles look like they're materializing from the ground. Thanks wizards. So, I'm not entirely sure what Ace is asking for here, but I did manage to create a pretty cool blur transition effect that I want to show off how to make. So this is what we'll be creating. Awesome! So the cool thing about this is that the more transparent a part of the image is, the more blur it is. Which I think is pretty cool. So let's get to it. First, let's create a new fusion composition. Great! So now in the fusion composition, let's create a title. Connect that to our media out and type in this is a title. And let's make it a bigger because it's a little small. Now we're creating a background node and setting this to gradient. And let's pull it up to the viewer so we can see what we're doing. Great, let's set this to 0, 0 and 0 0.2. This gradient is what will power our effect, both for blur and transparency. So the more white the image is, the more blurry it is. And when it's black, it's completely sharp. Which is great. If you make this gradient bigger, you will have a bigger area to work with and it will take a longer time to reach its final output. But let's set it to 0 0.2. Now let's connect this to a transform node, like so, and let's take a look at the text. The text starts right here, so if we go back to the transform, we want the blur to start a little bit below this point. So let's set it up right here, and let's take a look at the text again. It's a little bit too much, so let's pull it down a bit, and there we go. Now let's animate this, so we set a keyframe for the center, and let's go forward a bit, and let's pull this up so it goes past our title. And there we go. Cool. Now let's take the text node and create a merge node and set this to the foreground, create another background node, set this alpha to zero, and connect that as our background. This is because the blur will only work within the text box parameters, but by making the merge and the background uh, being transparent, you have uh, the entire canvas to work with for the blur, which is great. And now let's get to the magic of this effect, which is the very blur node. So control space and type in very blur, and let's hold shift and connect it to the pipeline right here. So the text goes into the very blur. The cool thing about very blur is that it uses a different image to power the effect, which is the gradient right here. So let's connect the transform into the blur image input of our very blur. And let's make this blur size bigger. It's locked to 10, but if you type in a bigger number like 20, that'll what that's what it'll be using. So let's go back and see if anything happens. But first we need to put the media out as our viewing node, so let's just put it up here, and there we go. Now you can actually see something going on. Awesome, that's pretty cool, but we also want transparency. So let's get going on that right now. First we need to make an invert color, because the transparency works differently than the blur, where instead of white being transparent and black being opaque, it's the other way around black being transparent and white being opaque. So let's take the output from the transform and connect it to the source input of the invert color. And if we take a look at this, you can see it's now the other way around. Awesome. Now let's connect the invert color to a bitmap mask. This is what will be powering the transparency of our text layer. So control space and bring up the bitmap mask node. Awesome, but we don't want to connect it this way, we want the output of our invert color to go into the yellow input of our bitmap mask. And let's set the bitmap mask to luminance, so it uses the luminance values of our gradient. Awesome. And now let's connect the output of the bitmap mask into the effect mask input of our text layer, and let's have a look. Great! So now we can look at the entire thing. 
awesome. But there is another cool thing you can do with this effect. Instead of having a box blur, you can have a focus blur by going to the very blur, selecting the method as defocus. And let's look at how that turns out. But there you have it, that's how you create an edge wipe blur transition. If you learned anything in this video, hit on that like button. If you want to learn more about being a filmmaker, DaVinci Resolve and Fusion, make sure to subscribe and ring-a-ding that bell. And if you have any questions or ideas for a tutorial I can make, leave it down in the comments and I will answer. Thanks for watching guys.